Good morning and welcome back from your Easter holidays. I am delighted to announce that this afternoon we'll be starting a new topic which will be... Predators. We'll be learning all about predators. So, which brings me on to your first topic project for the half term. It'll be a weekly project and it will be artwork about carnivorous plants. Plants that eat animals. I didn't say that the wrong around. Plants that eat animals. So if you go on the classwork tab at the top, you'll be able to find that project and read more about what I'd like you to do. In English, all your work this week will be building towards you writing information leaflet about a predator. So please go on the classwork tab and look at the English work each day. Some lessons will be over two days, some lessons will be just one day. Uh, in maths, we'll be finishing off our fractions unit. So please go, go on the classwork tab and you'll have a different maths activity each day. In RE, you will be having a, your first project will be over two weeks. It'll be similar to our Easter one. It'll be about being creative, finding lots of different ways you'd like to do it. I'd like you to represent the story of the prodigal son. The prodigal son. So I think I've posted a video for you to look at. Do some research about the prodigal son and then find a really, really, really creative way of retelling it. Okay, It doesn't have to necessarily be the same way you did the Easter one. So you did a comic last time, maybe you want to do a video this time. If you did a video last time, you actually think maybe I'd like to write it as a story. However, challenge yourself. Looking really forward to seeing those in two weeks' time. And again, um, time sale rock stars. There will be another Girls v Boys battle. So congratulations to the boys who won the week before half term. i like to see the girls win this week because I think the boys have won both battles so far. I'll be checking up uh, people's progress each day and I'm giving it house points based on how many points you get over the week. Spelling shed, I've put new spelling shed lists up. So please do those. Because we can't be doing weekly spelling tests, I will be checking your um, levels on that. So that's how you're going to show me you've been learning your spellings. Again, people who get to um, like Royal B levels, those sort of high levels, will be getting lots of house points from me. And also, can you be doing Bug Club? Can I be checking up on your progress on that? Okay, so looking forward to seeing all your work this week. And remember, top right-hand corner, click mark as done. Brilliant.